Um, yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you all how you can create a bootable USB to install Windows XP Vista 7 or Windows 8. So basically, in terms of your software, you'll need a program called Win to Flash. Uh, well, hardware, you will need a USB flash drive, which should be at least 4 gigabytes or more. And uh, now this is optional, but if you are installing from an ISO file, you will need either a WinRAR or 7-zip or extracting program. Or you can just have a mountain tool such as daemon tools, power ISO, magic ISO, etc. So yeah, let's just go and get the files quick. So first you want to download the program which is win to flash. Is it here? Click on download. And just click on this one. Um, I have this downloaded already, so I'll just cancel this for now. So I'm going to go in my downloads folder. Now, as you can see, this is actually my flash drive. It's um a 7.43 gig flash drive, so enough space. All right, so you end up with this file, and you want to extract this file. So um, I use 7 zip as my extractor. You probably use WinRAR, so whichever one you use, it doesn't matter. So just extract it, and then you run the program. Yes. Okay, just click next. I accept. Uh, on well, you can uncheck this if you want. I don't think it really matters. Do you have a license file? No, I don't. Just get an ad from your server. I'll get an ad because um, I have my firewall to block this program from communicating with the internet. But you know you don't really need a firewall. You just see an ad if you don't have one. Yeah, just click next. So you just go in advanced mode. And this is where the magic occurs. Now, there's a lot of options for you to choose from. Like if you want to um, transfer XP to USB drive, no problem. If you want to transfer Vista 2008, 7 or 8 to a, to a USB flash drive, well, just choose this option. There are other, many other options, but I think most likely everyone will probably be concerned with the first option, which is transferring XP and Silver 2003 to a USB flash drive, and this one, which is Vista, Silver 2008, Windows 7, Windows 8. So I have a Windows 7 um, ISO, so I'll choose this one, and then we just click Create. Now, this is where you need to pay attention a little bit. The Windows Setup Path is the location where the um, Windows installer files could be found. If you have a Windows 7 CD, then you can just throw it, insert the CD into your CD-ROM, and then just locate the location of your CD-ROM. So let's say if it's D, if it's the D drive, you just click on that and press OK. But in my case, I have my Windows 7 in a ISO file, which I'll show you guys here. Um, where did I put? Okay, Windows 7. Now, this is a perfectly legal copy of Windows 7 I have here. So, if Microsoft, if you're viewing this video, please do not issue a takedown request on my video. Because this is a completely legal copy I have here. Okay, right. So, as you can see, there's an ISO file here. So, you know, things are a bit complicated because I cannot just link to this ISO file. So, this is where you actually have two options. You either try and unzip the contents of this. Like, you just um, unzip it and extract all the files. Or two, you can just mount this ISO file to a virtual CD drive using your favorite mounting tool. I have daemon tools installed in this computer, so I'll just mount it. I'll just double click it. So Daemon Team is mounted this on the F drive. So now I can go back to Winter Flash, select, and I will just click on here and press OK. Okay, so we so now that we have that out of the way, we need to actually tell the program where our USB flash drive is. And you just select and you locate your empty USB flash drive, which is here, and just press OK. Okay, so we have that done, and but before you continue, just note that you should back up all your files in your USB flash drive because after this process is completed, everything will be wiped from it. So if you have any important files in your um, USB flash drive, back it up now before you proceed. Okay, so you just click on run. But I accept. Continue. The, your license doesn't support. Okay, whatever. Just press OK. So while the video is doing all that, I'm just going to pause it and resume when everything is done. Alright, okay, so it's finished. Let me just press OK. 
Okay, so the use space for the USB flash drive is 2.74 gigs and the size of my ISO was 2.72 which you can see here. So which means that if your ISO file or if your DVD is larger than 4 gigs then just make sure that you have a USB flash drive which is larger than 4 gigs. Okay, thanks for watching.